are proud to be here and presenting EcoBrick, a system on a global scale aimed to reduce power consumption in homes worldwide. The first is the auto control of home appliances. EcoBrick will automatically control your home appliances to minimize needless power consumption. For example, you can turn off the lights in your room or lower the heater or the air conditioner. Now, each set of lens and watts is called a live bloom. For instance, turning off the lights when there's nobody in the, room, in the room is an example of a live bloom that will control your lamp based on input from the webcam human detector. The three live blooms should now be in action. Let's check it out. Notice the lamp, the DVD player, and the heater are turned on. And as I leave the room, Keep an eye on three. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so here um, we're having some network trouble, so uh, we'll go with the video. We turn the DVD player on with a remote, just like so. And EcoGrid will sense this action and turn on the projector and lower the lamp. Please allow a few seconds for the screen to come up. But in the meantime, we can see that the lamp is lowering. And there we go. There's the screen. You can't help but be surprised at what a big difference they can make. Wouldn't it be great if technology worked with us, with all of us, for a sustainable environment? For you, for me, for everybody? We'd like to finish off our presentation with a short image video. This is a world we imagine. So the question I'm trying to ask is, yes. can you describe the, the, the software technology as yeah. if you use Silverlight? What, what else is there in the software oh, side that okay. you've used? Thank you. Oh great, I'd like that. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a bit um, confusing. It has some Japanese in it because it was a design prototype. Um, Here's the global database. It's made of um, Microsoft SQL Server, which stores all the live blooms that are shared around the world and all the information about the devices, well, which live blooms you have active. And the interface is made of um, Windows Publishing Platform. You can see an interesting use of live mesh. Yeah, okay. That's what, that's what I was driving to, Charles. 